What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be an updated class tier list, okay? I've assembled all the data, I've looked at all the feedback. Let's put all the trolling aside because some people thought that I just didn't realize that Barb's got nerfed. But all of that aside, guys, we looked at it all. I'm going to make a brand new tier list for you guys. And this one, believe me, is serious. And the game looks amazing on my brand new monitor, by the way. So I actually just had to log in for the very first time on my new system, my new PC. And it's kind of crazy how good the game looks and feels. But... Um, so let's go ahead and go break down our tier lists. So here we go. I broke it up into four categories. I figured this time I would be very specific. I, tr I would try not to troll or be sarcastic because some people just weren't getting it in the comments. And I do want everybody to, to you know, to just love the content that we put out on this channel. So uh, the categories are godlike, super strong, strong, needs a buff, and needs more nerfs. So between these categories i'm looking at a lot of things uh i've had a lot of good discussions with a lot of people so when it comes to class tier lists um because it's been so difficult for players in the diablo community or just um in the youtube comments in general to kind of understand how i would rank them uh i'm just going to make it very simple and make it up to date and just go strictly by damage zero other factors no survivability no movement speed no build variety um just nothing else anything any other variable that you could consider to rank these classes uh is all out the window we will be going strictly by damage for the foreseeable future because it is true in arpg everything is all about the builds um nothing else matters so yeah let's get right into it this is an updated tier list for season four and, and i think you guys are really gonna like this so let's start off at the bottom needs more nerfs again i'm not trolling this is the barbarian we need more and more nerfs for the barbarian they still have some very very strong builds in the game but in my humbling opinion the fact that they have four weapons still and two of them being two handers and the amount of affixes that they can put on and the amount of legendary powers they can put on even though barbarian suffered a little bit of nerf this season it has been the best class prior to the ptr for three and a half seasons it's really feels like four with the beta the open beta etc so barbarian has literally been at the top for almost a year we need to push barbarian down even more so that way the barbarian won't be really at the top for another year or more it's time for a new regime next let's go to need buffs the rogue needs buffs man since season one in twisted blades being utterly dominating the the meta so to speak rogues have really suffered a lot they don't get a lot of you know love and customization when it comes to their builds you're really just kind of playing like twisting blades or pen shot barrage I know there's a few people that are going to hate that, but I think I think amongst the entire community, like rogues, just they just haven't been receiving a lot of love. I really hope that the grenade stuff that they're really getting this season will be awesome. Uh, but they really need some more love. I think they need some more love. I think they just need to be able to do a lot more damage. Uh, I would love to see like a super cool, you know, the shadow death trap build. Like that thing was awesome. I would like to see some more stuff like that from the rogue that's dealing millions of damage. But until then, Rogue Rogue just needs a lot of help, man. And by Adam Jackson, for the love of God, if you see this, I'm saying it again in another Diablo video. I cannot believe it. Give us multi-shot. For real, dude. Give us multi-shot, man. Gosh. All right. So there's nobody in the strong category. Oh, and before we get into the next classes, this is a disclaimer. This disclaimer right here. And I need you guys to pay attention. I need you guys to listen to what I'm about to say. So, when it comes to these classes, every build in the game can do pretty much all content. So, I don't want to hear anything in the comments about, oh, well, this class has this build because I can do T100 Nightmare Dungeons or during the PTR I did level 200 pit. Every build can do T100 200 pit, okay? 
Put it aside. It's not an argument. Moving on. Next, nothing in the strong category. We're going to super strong, and that's my boy Druid. Druid since season two has just been popping off with the buffs. I love the build variety that Druids have in the game. They did get a huge buff in the patch notes here for uh, companions on top of the 100% player uh, attributes being added to companions. I just I don't see the companions being as strong um, as like Conjuration or Minions, but uh, besides that, like every other build Druid has is super powerful. The one build that did take a hit again is uh, the Overpower with um, the, the new Banish Lord's Amulet. It does hurt the Pulverize build just a little bit, um, but besides that, all the builds for Druid are just absolutely fantastic. The class just seems to continue to slap. And it seems to be such a crowd or community favorite amongst all of the classes. So, Druid, super strong, continues to be super strong. And they continue to get a lot of buffs, especially for the resource management in the early game while you're playing. Next, we got my class that I play, and that is Sorceress. Sorceress, again, continues to be the most consistent class in the game. Uh, I've said this many times, not super strong at anything, not super weak at anything, just pretty good across the board. But this season, we're going to have a couple more builds that are just going to absolutely slap with infinite teleport, um, uh, like evade Nova. And then you have frost Nova, which can teleport really well and clear a whole screen. And then you got frozen orb, you got meteors like there's just a lot happening. Um, with Sorceress, Blizzard, Adam Jackson, just give Sork a third enchantment slot. That would be absolutely amazing. But uh, Sork continues to be, again, just an overwhelming favorite uh, for me playing. Like, the build is just really good. And then who can hate on Teleport, right? Like, Teleport is the best movement skill in the game. Uh, the class just, it just slaps, man. Like, Sork is just super, super good. And then last but not least, guys, we're going to get into the godlike character who's doing the most damage in the game. And it's good to see it finally be on top. Not only for that, but two, finally we get a minion necromancer build, which slaps all content. You're doing 400 billion damage. You're one-shotting level 200 uber bosses. You're one-shotting Duriel. The only huge setback here is movement speed. You move incredibly slow. Even though the minions are going to be able to just kill anything, right? The golem's going to be able to smack a, an elite or a dungeon boss or whatever and just one-shot it. You still move very, very slow, even with the movement changes to Necromancer. So you really need to invest in movement. I really wish... The devs would give us, uh, what is it, uh, Blood Rush, like we had in Diablo 3, just to give it a movement skill. I just think that would make it pop off. I know it would mess up the AI of the minions because, you know, they're dum-dums. But besides that, Necromancer just has everything going for it. You got minions on top doing the most damage in the game. You got Shadow Dot Necromancer, which just seems awesome right doing you know millions upon millions of damage you still got the the fan favorite bone spear sever comes in blight comes in and then of course we can't forget about blood surge or blood nova in my opinion that build is just insane it's basically been one of the top builds since uh, in season three so necromancer is just absolutely slapping guys i don't know how else to put it so yeah this is my updated tier list I hope you guys won't be so mad at me in the comments and just you just got to get to know me to get to know you like help me help you because we're going to troll a lot. We're going to have some fun, but when it comes down to business, this is the finalized tier list going into season four before we can really test um, anything else out. This list may change, um, but I think right now this is kind of how it's looking. Um, Barbarian is probably realistically here. But I hate Barbarian, and really this needs more nerfs, slash if you play Barbarian, you have a small P. So, uh, that's really what it boils down to. Um, so, I think this is pretty accurate, and I don't think anybody in the comments will disagree. So, if you guys did enjoy my last two tier list videos, 
and you have enjoyed this one, make sure to drop a huge like. Let's get this sucker up to over 100 likes, okay? Let's get some good conversations down here. Where's my necromains at? You know what I mean? Where's my sork mains? Where are my druid mains? Rogues and barbs, you're at the bottom of the list. I wish the best for you. I hope we come out with something by the end of the season, which would be spectacular. But yeah, guys, like the video. Let's get this thing to 100 likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.